These days, everybody wants to bring a dessert to an event. You want to bring something that you made yourself that looks really nice. I know a lot about decorating cakes. I've been doing it for about 10 years, and I'm here to show you some basic steps about how to decorate a cake. First off, you want to prepare the kind of cake that you need. You need to figure out how many people are going to come to your event. Once you have that, you will then need a serving chart. If you go online, Weltons.com has a basic serving chart in which you can look at and you can check from different sizes of cake slices that you would want. Each different size will yield different amounts of servings. This will also depend on the size of cake that you would want for your event. Once you have figured that out, you will also need to figure out how much icing you will need to make for your cake. Those serving charts also include amount of icing that you will need to finish your cake. Now that you have the proper size that you need for your event, you will now need to work on making a base, the beginning of your cake. Most cakes, after they have come out of the oven, will be rounded on the top. You will want to cut off the top of the cake so as to make the cake level, which gives it a better presentation. This is shown in the picture right here. After that, you will want to take your icing and put it on top. A generous amount is fine. Do not worry about having too much. You always want enough. You can always put more on if you need to, but it's always better to have more. You will then start to put it around the sides and just put a thin layer around it. This is called a dirty ice in which you will then crumb coat the cake and this will prevent any crumbs from showing on the outside layer presenting a better cake. After you are done dirty icing your cake, you will then place it in the refrigerator or on your countertop for about 15 to 20 minutes until the top has crusted over. This allows you to do the next layer and keep it nice and nothing will come out of it. You will then take it out and put your next layer on using different tools. I have a scraper right here which you can use on the side just as in the picture to make a smooth side. It also sometimes will have a serrated edge in which you can make pretty designs with. After you finish this layer, you will then put it back on the countertop or in the refrigerator for another 15 to 20 minutes for it to crust over again. Now that you have come and made the base of your cake, you are now ready to decorate it in any way you choose fitting to your event. If you have a birthday, you may want birthday balloons and pretty writing this is happy birthday. If you have an anniversary, you may want flowers on there, anything that you would like. You will usually have borders on the top and on the bottom, and sometimes designs on the side, and also around the top. You will use different colors that come in these concentrated paste, in which you will add to your icing to make the colors that you want for your design. You will also use these disposable bags which will have a coupler on the end in which you will insert your tip, which when the icing is pulled through will make the design. You can go to your local store and buy a basic set of tips that will include the flower, the petal, the round, and a star tip, which are the major tips to make the designs you want on all your cakes. You can use these together to make different designs or separate. You can usually find a chart such as this one that can show you lots of ideas of how you can decorate it in the different shapes and forms you can make. I also have other pictures. Here are some things where you can take the um, one shape and draw it out and put it together and make different ones. This is just one tip and the different things you can do with it. And another one. There are endless possibilities of how you can decorate your cake and make it beautiful for your event. Mm. And everyone will be sure to love it as everything else. <laughs> Now that I have shown you the basic steps of how to prepare a cake, ice it so that you have the perfect base to work on, 
and the different tools you will need to come up with the different designs, you should be able to go home and make a cake for any event in which you can wow your family and friends. My name is Alexis Wise, and this is my process speech. Thank you. How long was it?